May I speak in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the last day of January 2022, and I will be talking about not giving up. Not giving up. I will read from the prophet Isaiah chapter 40, beginning at verse 28. I will be reading from the Revised English Bible. And I read. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord, the eternal God, creator of earth's farthest bounds, does not weary or grow faint. His understanding cannot be fathomed. He gives vigor to the weary, new strength to the exhausted. Young men grow weary and faint. Even the fittest might stumble and fall. But those who look to the Lord will win new strength. They will soar on, as on eagle's wings. They will run and not feel faint, march on and not grow weary. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The door I just walked through now is about 200 years old. It has weathered winter, spring, summer, autumn. It has weathered, weathered people pushing it forth and back. It has seen generations of men and women, young and old, children, visitors, guests, Christians, atheists, and all sorts of people. But this door is still standing. This door was here before I was born, and definitely before you, who is listening to me, before you were born. And by the mercies of God, this door is going to be here whilst we are all gone. But that's a bit of the history of the church where I serve. Like in the former video I posted on my YouTube channel and indeed my Instagram also, I was saying that this year offers us another opportunity to get to know God, to get to walk in the presence of God. A year that gives us the opportunity to build on our lives as better human beings, as better children of God. But the reality is that some of us have made strong commitments this year. Commitments to know God, commitments to love our neighbor as ourselves, commitments to build on ourselves to become better, better people. To love people better, to love our families, to care for one another. But the reality is that we might not have done that. And when we look through our New Year resolutions, we might discover that we have really failed. We might discover that we have not kept on that thing which we said we are going to keep on to. I was speaking to somebody a couple of weeks ago who made a commitment that he was going to walk against his addiction, that he's going to be a better person. But alas, quite early on in the year, he broke his promises to himself. He broke his promises to God. And I don't know about you. Are your addictions coming back? Are you giving up already? Have you started again from where you stopped? With the drugs? The addictions? The excessive drinking? The pornography? The cheating, the unfaithfulness to your spouse or to God. And you are like, if I have failed this January, what's the possibility that I can survive February, March till December? Maybe you have failed in reading that book. You, you made a commitment to read a book each week or each month. And maybe just like you, or just like me, you are still in that first page of that book. And you're like, what's the point? Let us simply carry on with life. Definitely we are not going to survive. We, so let's just give up. Let's just give up. Maybe you're already tired. Maybe you have already given up. But we have 11 months to go. 
we have 11 months to go. Yes, January might not have been a huge success, but we have 11 months to go. And this is where this scripture we read today is really important. In the NIV it says, those who know their God, those who know their God shall be strong. Those who know their God. Let me introduce this God to you. Perhaps you are not fully sure of the God I'm talking about. The Bible says that he is the Lord, meaning that everything is under his power. He is the God. He is everlasting. He is eternal. He is beyond time and space. Therefore, God doesn't count these calendar months we are counting. God doesn't count this 31 days January calendar, 12 months. He lives out of time and space. The Bible also tells us that he is the creator. Therefore, he created you. He created myself. He created everything that we know and we see. That is the God I'm talking about. He never grows weary. This is also the God I'm talking about. No matter how difficult life is, God does not get tired. He does not faint out of weariness. No, he doesn't. We can't even understand him. His understanding is beyond our mindset. That is the God I am talking about. That is the God we are speaking about today. The Bible says he also gives strength. So he's the God, the giver. He gives strength. And he increases the strength of the weak. This is the God I'm talking about. And perhaps you are trying to give up. And I say to you, do not give up. There's no point giving up. Because from the initial point, our strength is not from us. It is from this God. It is from this powerful and awesome God. Therefore, we cannot give up because we are not relying on our abilities to survive. We are relying on the grace of God, which is able to make the difference in our lives. And I say to you, don't give up. Do not give up. He says, but those who wait upon the Lord, those who look upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. Therefore, we are not trusting ourselves. Because we know we are weary, we know we are tired, we know we are frail and fragile and weak. But there is power in the name of the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And I say to you this day, wait on the Lord. Why give up? Why let addictions destroy your life? Why let immoral situations cripple you? No, we cannot let that happen. Because we will wait on the Lord. We will wait on the Lord. And not only will he renew our strength, he will give us power and strength to soar on high like eagles. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own understanding. God is for us and not against us. And I say to you, do not give up. Things might not seem right. Things might not seem proper. But do not give up. The irony of it is because we failed in one month, we simply want to give away 11 months. Why don't go back to that book you're reading and start reading? Keep reading. Keep pushing. Maybe that musical instrument you want to learn and you've done nothing about it this January. Maybe you've just gotten a book. <laughs> that is good. Hold on to that book. Start reading that book. Maybe you said that this year you will be pornography free. You will be drug free. You will be alcohol free. What are your commitments? You already given up. The Bible says that those who look upon the Lord, those who wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. I pray for you this day that your strength will be renewed in whatever you are seeking, in wherever you are going to. Do not be tired. Do not be tired. The grace of God is sufficient for us. Where others feel tired, where others are weary, we cannot be because our strength is not from us. We have a divine connection. We are connected to God and that is where we receive strength to move, strength.
to make the difference, not just in our life, but in the life of people around us. So I say to you, do not be tired. Do not be tired. Because the Lord is our hope and our strength, as says the psalmist. Don't rely on yourself. This battle is of the Lord, not of yours. You cannot win this battle alone. Some trust in chariots and horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Remember those words of David. He comes against me with javelins, sword and spears, but I come against him in the name of the Lord. Why don't you put your trust in God? This month, you might call it a waste already, but I say to you, nothing is wasted in the presence of God. Why don't you go back to those commitments? Why don't you go back to God? Those who look upon God, those who wait upon God shall renew their strength. Let us rely on God, who is able to make the whole change and difference in our life. Never give up. Never give up. Because God does not tire himself. He is not tired of giving you strength. He is not tired of making you strong. He is not tired of giving you successes and victories. And that is why I say, do not give up. Do not give up. And God will strengthen you in this season. I pray for you. I pray for myself. I pray for all of us. That God will strengthen us this year. That those commitments we've made will stand. Like I said before, this door has been here for more than 200 years. More than 200 years. It has seen a lot. And it's still standing. It is still standing. If an ordinary wood can stand this much, how about you who Christ died for? If an ordinary wood can stand firm, have been used by thousands and thousands of people over the centuries, God renewing it every day, why would God do much more for you? Brother, sister, be encouraged. Because they that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. They shall do exploits. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own understanding. Because the God we look unto is powerful and strong. Be encouraged, brother. Be encouraged, sister. Because God, our own God, shall give us his blessings. Let us pray. God, give us grace and give us your strength. That in moments of weakness and failure, we can look unto you to renew our strength. Because we look upon you and unto you alone. We wait for you. We look unto you. Renew our strength. That from tomorrow, we shall continue in that journey to becoming a child of yours. Walking against every principality and power in our ways. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.